Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a basic black smoky eye. Easy to follow and will look fantastic on everyone for any occasion. Let's just jump right in to the tutorial. Since we're going to be working with dark eyeshadow colors, you're definitely going to get fallout. It's just a harsh reality. So firstly, we're gonna start by doing our eyeshadow. I've got a little bit of my foundation on the back of my hand, just a little small bit. Just gonna go in with a small brush. You just want a little tiny bit of this product all over the eyes. This is going to prep the eyes for the eyeshadow we are about to apply and just cover up any veins or redness that you may have around the eye area. Next, you wanna select a matte brown taupey color. This is Inglot's 390. I'm picking that up on a tapered brush, perfect for fitting in the crease area. You just wanna apply that brush right into that crease working the color in. Just place the brush right above that socket bone and work the color in. Now selecting a lighter eyeshadow, get that on a fluffy brush and you just want to apply that right above where we applied that matte taupe color. This is going to blend everything out to ensure that there is no harsh lines and also act as a brow bone highlight. Next, selecting a dark gray gel liner. This is ELF's gel liner in gunmetal. I'm gonna pick that up on a synthetic brush and apply that to the mobile lid, staying under the crease where we applied that taupey brown color. This should be a little bit easier to apply than how I'm applying it. I have to tug a little bit more because my product has dried out. But you could definitely use one of the Maybelline color tattoos or any sort of gel liner. Next, taking a black matte eyeshadow, pat that black eyeshadow right over that gel eyeliner, which we just applied. I know it looks a little bit like panda eyes right now, but I can reassure you that it will look good at the end. <laughs> Next, selecting a graphite, I think that's what you would describe this color, a graphite sort of earthy gray color. We'll just, yeah, we'll just go with that. Uh, this color is also by Ingler on the same brush that we used just before to apply that taupey brown into the crease. And you just want to go over that crease line area right above the black and sort of blend things out because things look kind of harsh right now with this black eyeshadow. So if you look like this right now with black all over your face, that is why we didn't do our foundation, we saved it till the end. To get a really sharp edge to your smoky eye, you can get the edge of your makeup wipe, <laughs> brain fart, and just put it on the end of your finger and pull up to get a straight edge to your smoky eye. To blacken things up even more, I'm going to go in with my little pointy Haku Hodu brush and this super black matte eyeshadow from the Kat Von D palette called Lucifer. I love the name of that, it's pretty cool. And I'm going to pop that into my crease just to make things really, really super black and super smoky. You wanna bring that right into your crease, not just the outer corner like what we normally do, right into the inner corner as well as the outer section of the eye. Next, I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner. This one here is also by Kat Von D. I'm going to rim my lower waterline and also my upper waterline. Next, going in with this brown, sort of warm brown color by Inglot on a pencil brush. You wanna pack that on, tap off any excess, and then run that along the lower lash line to smudge out that black eyeliner that we just applied. So since we're done with the majority of the messy eyeshadow and all the black stuff all over our face, we can go on to do our foundation and then we'll come back to the eyes and put on mascara and false eyelashes and all that good stuff. 
So for my foundation today, I am using my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the color 28 because I have tons of fake tan on at the moment. I'm normally 20 when I'm pale and I'm 28 when I'm fake tan. So I'm gonna have to use 28 today because I've got a lot of tan on my face. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush to apply that all over my face. This would have to be one of my all time favorite foundations. I've heard a few people say um, for them and they've got dry skin that it doesn't work for them. I feel like this foundation is definitely tailored towards people with oily or combination skin type. I'm not gonna do a cream contour today. I'm just gonna do a cream highlight with my favorite cream product that I use all the time. It's Kryolan Foundation Stick in W1. I do have a full in-depth video where I talk about how I cream, contour and highlight. So if you would like to watch a more in-depth tutorial, I will put a link for you in the down bar to go and watch that once you're done watching this. To set my face, I'm going to go in with my Fit Me Press Powder in 135. It's my first time using my Hakri Hodu brushes today. Oh, feels so good. I got these for Christmas. For my contour, I'm going in with my Maybelline Terra Sun Bronzer in 3. I remembered that without looking at the back of it. And on my Haku Hodu brush, this is 110. I'm going to be applying that to the crevices of my face. For my blusher, I want something really light and natural since my eyes have got so much going on. So I'm going to use my NYX blush in Angel and just apply that to the apples of my cheeks, almost as a blushy highlight to the top areas of my cheeks for a nice, a nice angel-esque glow, angelic glow. Get it? Angel. <laughs> Now I want a really soft and natural looking brow and this is the first time actually using this product. It's by Curtis Collection in the color Soft Taupe 02. So I'm just going to lightly define my brows for some extra definition. Once you've done with your eyebrows, you can go on to apply your mascara. If you would like some extra volume, you can go ahead and apply a set of false eyelashes. These are Red Cherry 415s. Because I want the perfect nude, sort of slightly pink nude lip, but not ghostly nude nude. It's a bit complicated, you'll see. I'm going to be mixing up three lipsticks. Firstly, I'm going to be applying Illa Masca's Test. Test? Yeah, Test Lipstick to my lips. It's a matte, like I would say like a dusty, pinky nude. I've really been loving that lipstick, but it tends to be a little bit drying because it is so matte. In the center of my lips, I'm going to apply Max Myth. And for my gloss, I'm going to be using Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Gloss in Glisten Up Pink. So this is the completed makeup look. I think this look is fabulous for any sort of night out occasion, whether it be your birthday or a New Year's Eve look, it will just look fabulous with any sort of little black dress. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what tutorials you would like to see next from me. I will be uploading regularly every Monday and Thursday. So don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. I also have a hair tutorial where I show you how to ombre your hair red. So if you would like to watch that, I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. Anyway, guys, I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye. Have you seen my last video?